The troubles for Ticketmaster, Taylor Swift fans are suing over that ticket fiasco. Ready for tomorrow's first court hearing on the matter. And ABC's Zorin Shaw is in Los Angeles with more. Zorin. Gio, there is some bad blood between Swift fans and how they feel about Ticketmaster and their practices. They are holding a dance party tonight and a rally on Monday outside the hearing, hoping that the company makes some big changes. It must be exhausting, always rooting for the anti-hero. This morning, Taylor Swift fans making it clear who they are rooting for after what they say was a disastrous experience with Ticketmaster and getting amped for a hearing with the company in Los Angeles tomorrow. They say Ticketmaster intentionally misled them back in November, alleging the company engaged in fraud, price fixing, and antitrust violations. We are not going to just settle. We, we want to see some change happen. We want to see a difference being made. They say Ticketmaster intentionally charged sky-high fees and sold their tickets to scalpers. It's baffling that they could have screwed it up this badly. Soon after, Taylor Swift spoke out to her fans. She said there are a multitude of reasons why people had such a hard time trying to get tickets, and I'm trying to figure out how the situation can be improved moving forward. Even Congress has scrutinized the company owned by Live Nation. We apologize to Ms. Swift. We need to do better, and we will do better. The company also says it does not embrace deceptive and questionable secondary ticketing practices. One, the system's crashing when the tickets go on sale. Ticketmaster itself has already said that they're working on this. The second piece, ticket prices will still be sky high as long as there's sky high demand and limited supply. I know when the hotline bling. And Ticketmaster also facing another lawsuit from Drake fans. They say there was a disconnect from what they wanted and what they got, suing Ticketmaster for, they say, intentionally misleading customers. They claim the company knew the Canadian artist would perform at two concerts in Montreal, but that they hid the information to hike sales. And our expert says the artists largely set the prices, but you have many artists, The Cure and Neil Young, who agree with fans. They are very critical of Ticketmaster's high fees. And remember, decades ago, Pearl Jam, they stood up to Ticketmaster, but they lost that battle and they still use Ticketmaster today. Gio? But the fact that the fans are holding a rally and a dance party, that seems right. All right, Zareen, thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.